At first into the repair shop, Rita Evans from Pembrokeshire, with a treasured artefact for the attention of Steve Fletcher. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Steve. Hello, I'm Rita. I'm Jay. Hello, Jay. Pleased to meet you. So, what have you got in the bag, then? Well, it's, it's a miner's lamp. OK. It's my grandfather's miner's lamp. Hubert John, a little bit of history. He was in the First World War. Okay. He, he went when he was 16 years of age, lied about his age, as they did. Uh, he was in some pretty serious actions. Right. Mons, the treat from Mons. He was in at the, the Somme. Mm. He was at Ypres, and he survived. He survived all that. My he way. survived. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he, when he came back, he had to go and work in a local mine, the Pembrokeshire Colliery Mine. Right. And while he was there, some time later, he was involved in a roof fall, and uh, he used the miner's lamp to stop the roof coming onto himself. And he was lying in the depths of the miner's lamp, and they pulled him out eventually. <laughs> Rita's grandfather, Hubert George John, used this lamp at the Hook Colliery in Pembrokeshire, where it's believed anthracite was mined as early as the 13th century, with men, women, and even children laboring underground. Roof falls and flooding were an inherent risk, and many men paid the ultimate sacrifice. Rita's grandfather was one of the lucky ones. So the roof fell down. The, the roof fell and down. And he was in between that gap there. He, he was lying in the gap of that, yes, just oh, about. My word. They took him home, and uh, when eventually they went back yeah. and cleared up the roof fall, they found his miner's lamp. So not only did he survive the First World War and all that he went through, but he survived a roof fall, and this was it. This saved his life. So it was very precious to us in the family, and we, yeah. want, the, we want the history kept alive I'm sure. for the future generations, right. yes. Yeah. But I can't open it anymore. We can't light it. So can you oh, fix it for me? Wow, that <laughs> no. is heavy, isn't it? It is very heavy, yes. You can see the dents on it. Please don't get rid of the dents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can see um, it needs to be opened again. Yeah. So when was the last time you saw this lit? Well, I was a child. Yeah? Yeah, yeah as a child, yeah. So to see it lit again would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you. This must be so important to you. It's very important to us as a family. And my brother and I um, treasure it very much. Right, well, this, this is going to be a real privilege to work on, knowing its history and, yes. and, and what it means to you. It, yes, thank you, Steve. This, this, is, this is a lovely, lovely thing. It is, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank for you, Jay. Thank you, yeah, thank you, Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Steve. <laughs> yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. It's really? majorly important. Yeah. yeah, it's such a great connection with a grandfather. Yeah, yeah, no, it's unbelievable. When I look at the lamp, I, I feel a lot of emotion, and I remember him fondly because he was such a lovely man. And we want to be sure that the generations that follow on understand that the lamp not only had a history uh, as a, as a miner's lamp, but also for the man that used it. And uh, we must remember that it, 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 it saved his life. <laughs>